channel. Welcome back to the King's Corner. So today I'm going to show you some vinyl finds that I got. These are almost all Elvis. There's a couple, uh, there's one Elvis related and one uh, Elvis community related that I'm going to show you. Um, most of the stuff I bought online, I actually ordered it in like November. I didn't get it till like the end of January. So this video, it should have been up months ago, but it's up now. So better now than never. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's look through these albums. Uh, I actually have some 45s here. I'm going to show you these come, these 45s come from, uh, this collection I bought recently. Well, I bought most of the collection. Um, you know, like that came from the collection, the VHSs from my VHS find. A lot of those VHSs came from that collection. So I've already shown you some of the stuff I got, but these are the, uh, 45s I had and she has some cool 45s. All right. So let's look at these 45s here. Um, these are all right condition. They're pretty cool. Um, take good care of her, and I've got a thing about you, baby, and it's uh, advertising the 1974 Easter TV special. That never happened. This is There Goes My Everything, and I really don't want to know. I love this. I love these covers. That's kind of why I bought these, mainly for the covers and for the songs, but... Oh, yeah, 1971 Only Believe and Life. All right, and these are the really cool ones. All right, so I got the... Um, Christmas album from 57. I got the EP. Songs on here. Santa Bring My Baby Back to Me, Blue Christmas. Side 2 is Santa Claus is Back in Town and I'll Be Home for Christmas. The cover on here is absolutely beautiful. Um, the record, I mean, it's got some hairline scratches on it. It's not the best. So I'll probably go through my... Uh, I got a whole box of Elvis 45s that just don't have any sleeves. And I'll see if I have a nice clean copy that maybe I could swap one of these out with. Another EP, this is the Tickle Me EP. So you got I Feel That, I've Known You Forever, Slowly But Surely, Night Rider, Put the Blame on Me, and Dirty Dirty Feeling. And this one's in the shrink wrap, and the, the cover's in great shape. Record, again, I'll have to go see if I have one in the, uh, the archives. And then this last one here, when I saw this one, I gasped, literally. Like, I... I <gasps> Joshua fit the battle and known only to him. Now, of course, this one isn't in the greatest condition. This is a pretty hard one to find, and I've never seen one out in the wild in person before. Um, she pulled this out, and I was... Whew. So, in this condition, it's not worth as much. It still has value. Um, and again, let's look at the record. I, I don't know how the record looks. I gotta take this out and put it in a sleeve here. I'll probably do this after this video, actually. The record's all right. But anyway, so cool. I mean, again, I gasped. I've never seen one in person, so I could have just passed it up. All right, and then uh, last thing I got from the collection I bought, I got the uh, Elvis Aaron Presley box set. Now, like, why did nobody tell me that this, like, this had some really cool stuff on it? Like, it's got the TV performances. It's got a full concert on here from the 70s. I mean, it's, this is amazing. Um, why did nobody tell me this was so freaking cool? I would have bought it a long time ago. Um, limited edition number, uh, 15,560. All right, so this next album is, uh, related to the Elvis community, and it is our homegirl, Heather Ann Low Max, all this time. She was very nice to give me a copy of her album when, uh, we were in Memphis, uh, in January for the birthday celebration. And she signed it for me, left me a nice message. So, I mean... Heather Lomax wins all day. She's got the coolest hair, the coolest album, and uh, she's super nice, super cool. So if you have not heard Heather's album, it is available to buy. It is available on Spotify, Apple Music probably. Uh, I mean, I use Spotify, so I mean, it, it is on Spotify. Uh, but you can get yourself a vinyl version. You can get a CD as well. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description if I can for you to uh, get yourself a Heather Lomax album. Also, on Heather's album, she does thank Elvis Aaron Presley, respect. Thank you for your example of generosity, humility, and the courage to take inspiration from all genres of music and create your own masterpiece. Your voice is an eternal gift from heaven. All right, and then this one is Elvis related. This is Mac Davis, Stop and Smell the Roses. I got this at a uh, Salvation Army just a couple days ago, you know. Mac Davis is cool. He wrote a little less conversation and memories. Uh, so great songwriter. Gotta love Mac. All right, next here, these are all like brand new albums that I bought brand new on the internet. And I don't do that a whole lot, but uh, I, just, I was just feeling, uh, I felt like treating myself uh, last November. Um, so anyway, let's check it out. 
I got the Love Letters FTD. Now, just check out this album cover. This is amazing. I love this. I like it better than the original album cover. Great picture. Super cool. This is actually the only FTD. I own a few FTDs. This is the only one I've actually ever opened. I had to open it because I love Love Letters. Here's the inside. Of course, I saved the, uh, the sleeve and the sticker, the, uh, the plastic. And then I'll show you what the record looks like because I've never opened one, so... And it's got the RCA label on there. It's super cool. Um, definitely not disappointed with this purchase. Uh, why I don't open my FTDs? Well, I, mean, I just... I don't need to listen to them right now, and it's almost kind of like an investment, I feel like. Um, but I love love letters, so I had to open it. Uh, this is... So the rest of these are going to be... The rest of the FTDs are going to be sealed. So this is uh, Cafe Europa G.I. Blues Volume 2. This one I just went ahead and grabbed because it had been on the internet on, for sale for as long as I've been looking at FTDs, I feel like. And um, I thought, well, if it's been there that long, I might as well buy it because someday I won't be able to buy it. You know, Every record they put out, they have it re-released, which makes them even more valuable. Um, this is Easy Come, Easy Go. I love this album cover. Uh, I don't know how good the album would be, but... Uh, Love the picture on the front here. Super cool. I love the stickers they put on here. Just the way they design it, it's just fantastic. Uh, this is not an FTD. This is uh, Where No One Stands Alone. I went ahead and bought this one. It wasn't too much money. Uh, this is from 2018. Nice picture of him and Lisa on the back. Uh, I opened this one. Uh, I finally got around to getting Elvis at Stacks. Uh, this came out in 2013. So... Let's put it this way. Elvis at Stacks has been out just as long as GTA 5. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just now getting Elvis at Stacks. Uh, let's look at the uh, record. Double album, but no gatefold. Which, I mean, if you're going to do a double album, you, you should do a gatefold. Because gatefolds are cool. This is probably a cheaper option, though. Alright, and the last two are FTDs here. Uh, this is Tickle Me. I like this album cover too. And I, I just love the stickers. You already know. You already know. And the last one I have here to show you is Kissing Cousins. Very cool. All right, guys, that is my uh, vinyl pickups for the past uh, couple months. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share it anywhere so somebody can see. And until next time, we will uh, see you next Saturday. And be good to yourselves. See you around, y'all.